Earlier in the week I alluded to some work that I was doing on Splunk and Mist integration and this is the result. So I've created a couple of dashboards in here that I wanted to show you. Uh, so same as my ServiceNow dashboards, I just kind of wanted to mimic the same functionality because I don't really have a, a good use case to run through. But here is Mist Wireless live demo data. As you can see, uh, same as on my ServiceNow, I've got a breakout of the wireless devices by type. I've got wireless devices online, offline, uh, just as you can in ServiceNow. I made it so that when you click on these things, they will bring up the search of the database that, uh, that I have uh, pushed all this data into and then pulled it back out of. Uh, we'll go into that in a little bit. Uh, we'll go back to dashboards. I'll show you some of the other ones. We've got the wired inventory. Uh, as you, you will be able to see exactly like the last one, um, this is just the wired stuff, what's online, what's offline, my uh, devices, and then the raw data that I use to grab that stuff. Um, and again, you can use, you can turn this into whatever you want. I just did the same thing because I don't really have anything useful to, uh, to display. Hit, uh, I was going to hit the back button, but we'll hit this and then client monitoring. See, so this is pulling all the data from the logs. Give it a second. Okay, so same thing. Uh, nine users online. I don't have any clear pass roles in here right now because I'm using live data, de live demo data rather than my uh, personal one. I broke out uh, clients by manufacturer, uh, clients by SSID. Uh, this graph is a little bit cooler, I think, for the clients by channel. It makes a little more sense than that triangle thing. I was just playing with the graph in here. Again, same same idea. It's uh, These guys use whatever they want for the graphs and, and how they want to present the data. I just give them the data from this. Um, clients by protocol, clients by band. Um, I'll show you kind of what it looks like in here. Uh, so what I did was I grabbed all that data, right? Like API, went out, grabbed it, and then put it in different... Uh, I guess these are databases. I don't really know. They're called indexes. So like, uh, for example, if I click on this one and hit go, you can see um, I defined in here uh, that these are going to be JSON. And uh, and so it, it split all this stuff out the way that it, it parsed it just as exactly as it should for a JSON file, right? So you can look at, you know, association time. I can look at all this data in a different way than I can in ServiceNow. Um, no functionality for creating tickets or anything like that, but I mean, if I wanted to make this be my uh, monitor and ServiceNow be my manager, uh, I can tie those two things together with a, with an add-on or however I wanted to do that, and then uh, you know go from there. Um, so that's that's kind of kind of cool. I thought this was pretty interesting to be able to to see all this data in here and how it came in. Um, I've got webhooks working. Um, that is actually when you go into settings, you can set data in. Uh, whatever that is, data inputs, uh, HTTP event collector, and then you'll see I have missed device events. And so what I've done here is I've created a new uh, index, and then you know identified all this stuff out, and then um, I can't remember exactly how I got it. In here somewhere, I might have had to Google it. Is where how I told missed to point the um, the webhook. You can see uh, missed device events. If we do the search and we'll do an index, index equals missed device events. Here it is. And then we hit last 24 hours. I don't think I have any for 24 hours. Let's do like uh, 30 days. So here is a webhook. This is one of my test hooks. So I wanted to, this is just all the raw data, right? So this is all the raw data for all the, the test hooks or the test test data for the same webhook. It's just one webhook. Whenever something happens and missed, it drives it out here and then it, it, this thing ingests it. And so uh, this one I, I, uh, I did as a test. Um, here's a bunch of APs that have done something, you know, AP reconfigured. So that's just kind of showing that that works too. Nothing else really interesting other than, let me open the app. So again, same data, but a uh, different way of ingesting it, I guess. So they have a Splunk mobile app. And you can see in here, I, I favorited all the, all the same dashboards that I had. So if I click on client monitoring, you can see that it's pulling the data again. 
And this is from the last 24 hours, which we don't want. Let's see if we can do last 60 minutes. There we go. Uh, so again, you know, same idea. Um, here's the clients. I scroll down a little bit. There's nobody on the clear pass roll. Clients by manufacturer. Uh, the cool thing about this is I can click on, I'll click on this, uh, this five gig here and it gives me percentages. So now I can see, you know, there's, there's one, one device that's on uh, 2.4. And that's 11.11% .11 of this, this graph. Uh, kind of neat. Do another one just for fun. And this is wireless devices online and offline. Uh, pretty cool. Wireless devices by type. I can click on them. Pretty standard stuff, but uh, just another way that you can visualize missed data going into another tool. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns. Um, I would be super interested if you're using this in a production environment and how you use it, because I'm just kind of putting these things in here because it's fun. It'd be really good to have a, a workflow that is uh, more like real life. Uh, I'd like to, to try to mimic as much of real life as I can because it makes more sense that this is a way that you would use it rather than me just throwing a bunch of data around just for fun. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one.